Hey guys, I'm LB, and I'm pretty tired right now, but as you can see, we need to keep out of a Bin 77 map called Underground. Uh, the description is very much not interesting at all. As you can see, it's nothing. There's no description, but it is favorited by Fumbly Bumbly and TS Mindswept. So it'll be interesting to see what they enjoyed so much out of this one. Underground in- The testing area is just up ahead. The quicker you get through, the quicker you'll get your 60 bucks. 60 bucks. And, uh, for any of you who saw the live stream on Friday, when I was saying, uh, 50 days, that was actually from when I played Glitch Space, right, which itself was a reference to Portal 2. The lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. All right. So this has gel already painted on it. Interestingly enough. Might want to get some more here and then, like, bounce, hit our heads a bunch. I don't think I've seen a broken glass texture that looks quite like this before. Oh, that one's even... What is this? What am I even looking at here? That is strange. I've never seen something like that in Portal 2 before. If I have, I've forgotten, but this kind of looks like ice, almost. Yeah, look, this looks like ice. <laughs> that does not look like glass, it looks more like ice. The only reason I thought it was glass first, because I don't normally see ice in this game. Right, we got one of these classic Portal 2 single-player campaign gel blockers. A gel blocker that you can turn off, mind you. Interesting, so that is how we get the gel to turn on, but for how long is the question. What is this all about? This is a whole interesting contraption. That is not at all what I expected that to do. <laughs> that is very much not at all what I expected that to do. What would you even use that for? Oh, and apparently that antline... Oh yeah, apparently that antline does connect to that. Okay, that's not quite how I expected things to work. Ah, an old observation room up there. I always wonder... I mean, I don't see any other observation rooms around here, so how are they supposed to observe me when I'm solving this part of the puzzle, right? Like, they can't... It's not a glass floor of the observation room, how are they gonna look down and see me? Must be why they switched over to cameras later on. Hmm... This is suspicious as well. What was that? Oh, I stepped on that, okay. Huh. Can I combine height? Not really. At least not effectively. Why, oh, maybe I can do it with this, though. Ah, oh, that might work. Let's try that. Get out of here, portal. And... Actually, you know what, I did that wrong, because I need to- I need to wait for the second bounce. Gotta get that double bounce, you know. There we go, double bounce. The- why- so... I've always wondered why that actually makes you get more height. Because, in my mind, it doesn't make any sense how this makes you go higher. I really think this should not make you go higher. I think it's a bug in the physics engine that causes you to go higher. I don't think it's an intended feature of the game, I think it would not work in real life. <laughs> Not to mention, portals wouldn't work in real life, but still, if portals work in real life, I don't think this would work in real life. Alright, so, we're clearly high enough to hit all kinds of buttons now. That button's for the exit, I'm sure it's on a timer. Although I really hope it's not. Oh, I'm actually not high enough to reach that, huh? Okay, then. What about this one? Oh yeah, I'm high enough to reach that one. So that's good, right? Does it stay activated, is what I want to know. I sure hope it does. I think it does. Excellent. So, where does this take us? Exactly where I thought it would. Right, so that's where- that's a place where we want some gel. Yeah, I guess some gel there. That's not aim-assisted. Interesting. And I know, people in the stream are complaining about me calling it aim-assist instead of Portal Placement Helper, or whatever you call it, in Hammer. I'm calling it Aim Assist, because it assists with my aim of where the portal goes, okay? 
Right, where else might we want some gel? I don't know, let's just- oh, we can't get gel there, okay. We can't get gel on this either? Okay then. What about this? Oh, this is the place we can get gel. Get plenty of gel here. Where else? Can't do gel here. What are these... What are these surfaces for if... If... I mean, are they just... More ground-level portal surfaces to get around or something? I don't really understand... What they're for, to be honest. I can get gel on that. What else? I can get gel all around here, I suppose. Well, I got gel up there, but I don't think that's gonna do any good, really. Oh, this is to stop me... from traveling. Okay, so I actually do want gel on the ceiling there, because that's another place to bounce my head on. Interesting. How did I get gel there? And there, what? Does this hit the ceiling sometimes? Uh, apparently it just hits the ceiling sometimes, that's quite interesting. <laughs> Strange. Oh, look at that! I guess that's intended, because it aims at that, maybe? That's kind of weird though, because it's also like hitting the actual metal there. Oh, it, yeah, it's actually... Man, that's weird. It's like... That's definitely good old cheap aperture science. Yeah, it never gets it on there long enough for me to actually bounce with it. And I'm pretty sure it cannot cannot circle jump around this. I'm sure Deathwitch could. Some people can circle jump around that, not me. Right, so. How about we do this? Let's just save and continue. Wait, I gotta do the double bounce. We always forgot. Gotta do the double bounce. There we go, there's a double bounce. We'll do a double bounce on this too, even though I don't think it really makes that much of a difference once you're already going. Then we'll do this one. Oh, I didn't really have a plan after this. I'm supposed to get a cube at some point, right? Ah, well, I'm sure I'll figure it out by doing that. If I can even aim at it, though. Eh, yeah, that'll work. Well, I'm in here now. Why did I come in here? I don't actually understand why. Oh! So I can get gel in here, okay. What do I want gel in there for? What is... Oh, that's... okay. <laughs> um... This isn't quite working the way... I was hoping. I guess I'm supposed to get the cube jellified, or... Oh, that's why the glass is like this. It's because it's a Schrodinger's cube thing. Oh, I need to go up there first. Okay. That's what that's for. Yeah, duh. <laughs> like I said, I'm very tired right now. I can't properly think straight. Right, well. Let's just start this whole process over again. Double bounce. Oh, that time it aim assisted. That's strange. Alright, then we do that. And... Then we do that. Excellent. So now we've got the cube in there, right? Now we need to redo... the other part to do that. Unless... 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 I can do this, maybe. Oh, it's generous. How generous of you. Um... Yeah, sure, that'll work. That cube landed in an awkward position. I can't reach it to fix it, so I'll just have to hope this works. It's weird that it aim assists to, like, the top? Like, why can it not go to the bottom? Like, the X position is not locked at all, but the Y coordinate is definitely locked. How strange. I mean, that's easy enough to do by just making the bottom part of that not portalable and just still have the portalable texture, but still, why would you do that? Anyway, um... That is what I needed to do. 
There we go. And then we just go wash it off. There we go. So. Now... I need... to mess with this... guy right there. There we go. Right. Oh, and that turns that off as well, too. Okay, so what's the deal with this? Oh, right. I need to press that button to open the exit. Okay, so... We are- we already- we are already mostly done... in this regard. Man, there's a lot of aspects of this map that are left to randomized physics, aren't there? Not exactly the best design in my mind, but I guess it works. Right, so... As per usual, we will do... double bounce. That's not a double bounce. That's a- that's a LB just misspoke. There we go, that's a double bounce. Then that's one. I still don't think this should work. I still think that this doesn't make any sense at all. All right. Um. Oh yes, I needed to press that button now. I already forgot what I was doing. All right, now we are good to go. Get out of here. Can't take the cube with us because it'll turn on the waterworks again. But it looks like we're not if done. You cut yourself at all in the course of these tests, you might have noticed that your blood is pure gasoline. That's normal. We've been shooting you with an invisible laser that's supposed to turn blood into gasoline. So all that means is it's working. Interesting. I must have gotten gel there when I placed some portals earlier. Why is there a portal surface here? Is the map over or is it not? Oh, I see. We- I thought there was a catwalk here, but there's not. We gotta do things. We gotta do stuff and things. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes. So, it turns out I placed the wrong portal. Not that it matters, of course. I just prefer to use a certain portal in a certain way. That was weird. It gave me a vertical boost for no reason. Interesting. All right, definitely a much better map compared to the previous maps. Nice work, Spin seventy seven. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye.